Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ekman Chaudhary and you are watching Everyday Health Essence. My today's topic is night blindness. Difficult uh, vision while uh, you know going outside or going in the darkness. So requested to watch complete video for complete information. If you are watching first time, please like, share and subscribe my channel for further notification. So let's begin with definition. What is night blindness? This is not the case that you are not able to see at night, huh? Uh, it is a kind of condition uh, that you have difficulty in vision or you have poor vision in dim light, in the darkness. The causes behind this condition and why this condition develop? What are the causes, risk factors and why you have this problem? So there are different causes. This can be genetical, there can be nutritional deficiencies and this can be due to certain, uh, you know, medical disorder or certain disorders certain eye disorder nearsightedness nearsightedness or we call it myopia uh, this is a kind of condition you can see near object but you are not able to see far away object so this is a kind of condition nearsightedness uh, uh, it's uh, uh, difficulty while seeing it during darkness second one is cataract so cataract is the kind of condition in which your lens you know gets cloudy there are cloudiness in the lens so you have obviously the blurred vision or uh, difficult vision poor vision the, with age huh, older adults usually have this condition like uh, there is a poor vision due to cloudiness in their lens and is the vitamin a deficiencies huh? vitamin a known as the retinol and that is very crucial for the vision uh, so if uh, you are having you know low vitamin or you are having deficiency in vitamin a so yes that can cause this is very rare but yes can cause night blindness all uh, right there are certain genetical disorders huh? and these are usher syndrome and uh, that you have hearing difficulty and you are having vision difficulty so this is a kind of again a rare condition but yes this is seen retinitis pigmentosa again a genetical condition and i have already uploaded a video on retinitis pigmentosa by the name of rp retinitis pigmentosa and you may find that video link in description box below if you want that video so you can watch then click on the link and you can watch the detailed video about retinitis pigmentosa this is a kind of condition in which you, in your retina retina is the part where your image get formed so in retina there is an abnormal collection of the pigmentosa abnormal collection of pigment is there and that creates a tunnel vision so you have again night vision difficulty that is night blindness disorders and these are like diabetes and diabetes again uh, act as a risk factors so diabetes due to you know high blood sugar level you have you know difficult vision you have poor vision thus pancreatic insufficiency vitamin a is the vitamin that is fat soluble vitamin so if you are having any fat in digestion problem ha huh, and like you are having pancreatic insufficiencies and that thick fat process fat metabolism problem so as you are having problem in your fat metabolism and yes vitamin a is a fat soluble so yes you have vitamin a deficiencies and you have night blindness symptom of night blindness the sole symptom the one and only symptom is difficult with uh, in poor light or dim light you have difficult seeing ha huh? you are having difficulty in seeing or even difficulty in driving while uh, you know dim light and you go from a bright light to dim light that creates a problem again because your accommodation is up that that gets affected accommodation treatment path treatment in allopathy yes it depends on the underlying cause but what is your case and what is causing i mean uh, this night blindness whether you are, are you having any cataract problem or you have vitamin a deficiencies or is there any other problem like you having you know diabetes so everything is considered your complete case is taken complete history is taken and accordingly your tests are done come a test are done to check your you know vitamin a level or your blood sugar level so if there is any kind of abnormality you have treatment accordingly if you are having cataract so in allopathy yes cataract surgeries are there your lens the you know that gets cloudy or that becomes cloudy so that is replaced with a clear and artificial lens so cataract surgeries are there vitamin a deficiencies if you have you are given vitamin supplement so just use them regularly if you are having vitamin a deficiencies then uh, have treatment option in allopathy now in first how we can prevent this condition see there are certain genetic disorders you cannot prevent them but yes there are uh, you know like if you are having any nutritional deficiencies vitamin a deficiency balanced diet just have a watch in your diet take a you know good diet balanced vitamin a rich diet and the food they are rich in vitamin they are orange colored food like you have sweet potatoes mangoes and even milk is again rich in vitamin a eggs are rich in vitamin a so you can add these items in your diet 
have a regular watch on your blood sugar level so just uh, keep that normal so that there is no risk of having diabetes and you are not having any problem in that case uh, certain uh, things you can uh, you know have a look or have a watch to avoid these kind of conditions active homeopathy medicines see yes the homeopathy for night blindness for near sightedness for cataract depending on your individual history whether it's a case of you know older adult means with the cataract you are having this problem or you are having again vitamin deficiencies or is there any other problem you are having flutos retinitis pigmentosa problem in your retina or what what, what are the other symptom we uh, treat you as a whole we take your complete case holistic approach is there so i'm having couple of medicine but these are not the complete medicine or not the only medicine in homeopathy I think that are used. There are certain other medicine with individual history. Starting with Balladuna. Balladuna is very effective medicine treating in night blindness where you have there is an eye inflammation. Your eye is inflamed. There can be conjunctivitis. There can be redness. Even protrusion. There is a bulging out. The dryness. Pain is there. So these are the characteristics of Balladuna, and these are the oral form of the medicine. You orally. These are the oral form of the medicine. Ha, huh, and these the color uh, you belong, the place you belong, the color gets changed with the company. This is the company's color. You just go with the medicine name. This is Balladuna, third year two hundred pregnancy, and these are oral form of the medicines. And link are given in the description box below. You can buy medicine, but according to your case, not all medicine. So Balladuna is given inflammatory conditions. So just take with help of dropper one or two drops. Two or three times in a day before having your meal. Syncona officinalis. Syncona in give, uh, is given in homeopathy when you have any fever. You know, a post fever you develop your vision problem arises. Huh? You have malaria or you have any vital flow slow like you have loose motion, diarrhea, and you have low energy, very low energy. So after that you develop vision problem. So in that case you can take syncona again. Type of dropper one or two drops two or three times in a day before having you. Physo stigma. Physo stigma. in homeopathy is almost specific in night blindness cases ha huh, where you are having difficult poor vision at night physo stigma almost cover all the symptoms like difficult accommodation ha huh? you have problem uh, while you go from a bright light to a dim light so there is a difficult accommodation nystagmus is there near sightedness is there ha huh? even paralysis of eyelids or weakness sometimes ha huh? so all these are the symptom of physo stigma same way one or two drops two or three times in a day before this is the medicine strength 30 or 200 you just start with the lower one 30 or 200 nak swamika you might have heard about nak swamika even digestion problem so if are having any gastric derangements you are having indigestion or you having liver problem and with that uh, you know there is a eye problem so suppose you are having uh, we discussed that in any pancreatic in insufficiencies or any digestion problems fat digestion problem so naxomica works amazing in these kind of cases if you have gastric derangements and with that you having eye problem so this is given in these kind of cases naxomica one or two drops two or three asadam fast in homeopathy uh, is used particularly for the male uh, you know uh acid fast is given when you have eye problem arises after having you know seminal fluid uh, there is a emissions and you know excess masturbation or bad habits means your vital fluids are lost and you are physically tired fatigue mentally fatigue and your eyes are even tired they are fatigue so this is the acid fast and these are the indication of acid fast so yes this is again eye care oral drop if you are having cataract if you are having any problem in your lens ha huh, you are having cloudiness also in that case you can use this remedy this is in the liquid form for 15 drops in some lukewarm water orally two or three times in a day before having you meal i care oral drop so of these are the medicine you can use uh, according to your case or your history so hopefully this video can give you some amount of help if you find this video knowledgeable informative please like share and subscribe my channel for further notifications if you want individual video voice consultation you can uh, you know message you can drop your message on given below whatsapp number thank you for your time thank you for watching keep watching keep supporting thank you so much